welcome back. So today I'm going to review another beer from Bell's. That's the Idea Juicy IPA. Creative Brewing Series, Bell's has released a ton of these and it's actually making me mad because it's not even on untapped yet. Why is it going to the Deadpool head? There you go. Juicy IPA. I've I've, yeah, I've sat here 10 minutes trying to find it, and I can't. So um, I picked this up today, uh, and on the receipt, it didn't say how much it was. I want to say $2.99. I could be wrong. Uh, Best Buy, $7.28.24. Uh, this is March, uh, the beginning of March. This was just released. Uh, excuse me. So shelf life, they're saying six months. <sighs> excuse me. Um, 6.7% ABV. Let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass. Actually, I was at Bell's today for lunch with Jessica. Man, that is, I think I got, um, a short pour. Uh, I went to Bell's, uh, with Jessica for lunch today. I actually met her there, uh, because I took today off. Um, and picked up seven, seven beers? So, uh, but I, I, I did see this yesterday on Facebook that they posted that uh, this is out. Um, but yeah, so I picked it up today. And again, I, I don't understand it. I mean, is it the end of the world? No. But why isn't it on untapped? I have to untap it. Don't you? Um, but let's, let's get into the beer. We don't have untapped. I'll get over it. Um, white colored head, I mean, pretty much eggshell white, uh, small, pretty much all small bubbles. I do have a couple medium ones over to the side. Um, golden yellow in color, light golden yellow. Wow. I about spilled that light golden yellow in color. Lots of bubbles coming up, but this glass is etched. Uh, looks good. Juicy IPA. Sure. Let's go ahead and smell. Wow. Almost like a sweet tart, like a hoppy sweet tart mix. A little fruity uh, in there, but I'm getting the hops. I don't know if it's because it is young. Uh, Bell's always puts the best buy date. I, I'm almost 100. No. Isn't that opposite of what they do? Yeah. So they, they put the best buy date on there I've got two other ones just in case um, you're not following the channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell uh, lots of beer reviews a new one every day or homebrew but um huh why did I think that they put the born on date but I think now that I'm thinking about it it's always uh, the best by date. Is it like a mosaic berry? Almost like a cotton candy? Uh, I could actually say a little Simcoe uh, in here. I wonder if they say what hop. Man. See, I get all flustered because I can't bring it up on untapped. Oops. What did I just do? What is wrong with this thing? I click something. You think I would know how to use this by now? There we go. I have to see now. And I unable to find. Whatever. Um, yeah, almost like a mosaic berry cotton candy, like sweeter, uh, light candied fruit. I would say more uh, juicy fruit than anything, but it does seem like like hoppiness, a touch of grass or, or something like that, like fresh hop, hop, like it's a young beer. But I could definitely say like, uh, like a Simcoe, a, a light onion garlic mixed in there. But now I'm second guessing myself because I believe... Last week I had a beer and it was, it was mosaic and I could have swore that I got a little onion garlic in there too. Maybe a touch of malt, like grainy light malt syrup. 
perfume, maybe a, a, a touch of floral in there too. Let's go ahead and drink. I mean, the head, those medium bubbles are now gone. Let's taste. Kind of same taste as the smell. Hmm. I swear I don't get that a lot where the smell goes over into the taste. Light smarty. Like malty smarty. But I, I, I want to say it's like fruit, berry, cotton candy. I don't know how it seems warm. I mean, I've been down here. I only did three other ones. Man, time flies. Um, yeah, like a, a, a fruity, smarty, like malty, smarty, malt, smarty, berry. I would go probably light candied berry. Easy drinking. Drinks like a 5.5. Um... I want some more bitterness. Uh, I don't think there's enough f for my liking, at least. Uh, but I, I think people would like this. Yeah, it's very light. Now, I just did three homebrews. Um, and those theme, seem thicker than this. Uh, the... I like the flavor. It almost reminds me of Roundhouse from Bell's. Just almost like lighter, sweeter. Like that smarty thing. I don't think they say what hops. Yeah, small batch. This is like the B1 if you've been following my channel. Um, eh? I was going to say, the bitterness just came back. Yeah, I, I think this one works. I would go four out of five on this one. I want a little more bitterness. I, th I think for a 6.7, it's too light. It, it, like I said, it drinks like a 5.5, like a 5 or a 5.5, somewhere lower than that. But the, the flavor is decent. So, yeah, if you're around Kalamazoo, this is a general store exclusive. You have to go to the general store to get this. Um, but if you're around Kal Kalamazoo, definitely. That says India Pale Ale on there. Okay. But yeah, if, you, if you're around Kalamazoo, definitely worth a trip to pick this up. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some other Bell's reviews over there. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.